should be interesting to see how it goes for him here tonight. This is a high-level wrestler of the highest order. No questioning the cardio. He's got a big fight in front of him here tonight. Every time he steps foot into the octagon, he does one thing, and that's embrace the grind. He gets right in your face. He pushes forward. He gets to the clinch. Loves the single leg takedown. If he can grab your leg, it's like getting caught in a vice grip, getting grabbed by a crocodile. He is going to finish it. He starts to run his feet immediately. When he can get you moving, he is always looking to advance from position one to position two to eventually finishing that great single leg that he possesses. And when he closes the distance, best of luck trying to buck this guy off of you. He does pummel drills in his sleep. Big fight for him here tonight. All right, here he is for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the feet. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Choi shot is blocked. Oh, collar tie. Archer, there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory if he couldn't get takedowns. That is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Effective punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Splits the guard with the right hand. Swing and a miss with that punch by the Korean Super Bowl. He's gonna try to take him down. There you go. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, and try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. We cross the midpoint in round one. Close guard. Choi gets back up again. Just misses with the left hook. And they separate. Leg and kick. both guys really throwing with authority. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Take him down, cut him. Take him down, cut him. Over and over, he's securing these takedowns. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Choi. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, working inside the closed guard now. 
All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you have that underhook, your opponent can hold. He's got him hurt here. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Just unable to quite find that range. I mean, this is his game here. Control your opponent's posture, land those nice elbows around, the, around his guard. Unable to connect there. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high punch. Takes him oh, for a ride. Slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong end of that? Not, I mean, I'm just that <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> right hand on point. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and punches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that apparently. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. Relax. I'm back. It's all right. This round, I want you to avoid the striking. Let them think you're going to strike. Lure them in. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. He misses with the right hand. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position. Got another beautiful takedown. Close guard, strong bottom work here, staying busy. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Effective punch there by Choi. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down with the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Working out of the half guard here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. 
straight right, he misses. Big kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Got the single collar, Jai. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown defenders. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Back to his feet. He blocks the punch. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Big punch lands through the middle. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That's a way to leave an impression on the judges. And big picture, I think, could set him up for future success in the next one. is pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. The Korean Superboy gets touched by that kick there. Oh, blocked the shot there and delivers the straight counter. Good punch, Lance. <laughs> oh, single collar tie here. Oh, the opponents seem to think he had short up the takedown defense. It did not. Hold up there. It may feel good in practice, huh. but you don't know until the guys in front of you hit takedown attempt after takedown attempt. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. Back to the feet now. Choi's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Punch over the top. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups, too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up this takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face and just drop his level, shoot his shots. And ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the fight gets to the floor, he just needs to get it there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. They continue to exchange. Go. Clean left punch followed by the right. Whiffs on the right hand. Yeah. 
Choi's kick to the body is blocked. Nice loop and punch. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Just misses with the straight right. And he landed the right hand there. Blocks the shot. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh! oh my God! He switched the ball to a high crotch, rotated, and then took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. He's having his way with him here. Back to the feet now. Punch coming. It's blocked. Straight punch lands. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Straight right hand, no good. Head kick. Missed with that right hand. with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hand, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Let's relax. Excellent work. All those rounds on the pads in the gym have paid off. Now we're going to continue. Keep doing exactly what we did. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the Ready? roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also wow. staying active. Actually got the takedown. Choice all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Oh, right to the mouth. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. And they both stand up. Good stick. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Oh, huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. 
And really starting to make these shots count. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. And he is back up to his feet. He lands flush with that right hand. Fantastic take down land. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage from. Ooh, what a punch. How good is that right hand? That was a thudding leg kick. Just misses there with the left. Really bad. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Under two minutes now to go in the round. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Sure, man. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, four seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by... Oh!